Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing this mini wireless combination keyboard and mouse. This device is a compact solution for when you need a physical keyboard and mouse for devices such as a home theater PC, smartphone, tablet, or gaming console. This particular model is unbranded and it only has the H9 model number on it. And there are a few similar ones on Amazon where I got it. And I'm sure most of them function the same, but we'll go ahead and take a look at this particular model. Now the first thing you notice when you take it out is that the product is extremely light. It literally weighs about two Blu-ray cases, which is extremely light. Honestly, when I first put it into my hands, it felt like a toy, but when you actually grip it, it does feel nice and solid. The construction is a sturdy plastic and it does have a nice smooth matte finish to it. So as you can see, the design is in the shape of a game controller, so that makes it very comfortable to hold. The size of the buttons and the overall layout make it very easy to reach all the buttons. And pressing on the buttons give you a nice and solid clicking feedback. One thing to note about the spacebar is that pressing right in the middle won't actually register it. The actual trigger points are on the edges. At first it felt kind of weird, but after using it for a bit, it does make more sense since your thumbs tend to gravitate towards the edges while you're typing. Up top we have the touchpad which acts as the mouse. And on this part it does feel a little cheap to the touch, but response was nice and quick when I tested it. It has standard controls where a one finger tap is left click, two finger tap is right click, and you can drag two fingers up and down to act as the wheel scroll. Up top are plastic trigger buttons which give a fairly audible click. Now moving on to the back, at the bottom is an on and off switch. And behind the cover, you find a rechargeable and removable lithium ion battery, which can be charged via the micro USB port on the bottom. And to the left of the battery is a wireless dongle with a nice placeholder so that you don't lose it. So now we'll go ahead and turn it on and check out the lights. At the front you'll see the blinking blue light and that's trying to find the signal of the dongle to whatever device you're connected to. It's plug and play on PC and I tested it on my tablet which has Android and Windows 10 and also my PS4 which I'll be showing a demonstration of later in the video. So here I've darkened the camera settings so we get a better look at the lights and there are four modes to this. There's an off mode, a color mode, a white LED mode and an automatically changing color mode. So to change it, you just push down on the function button on the bottom left here. And this is the color mode. And the good thing about this is you can actually change the brightness. Holding down the function button, you can scroll your finger up and down the touchpad to control the brightness. And dragging it left and right will control the colors. And the next mode is a white LED mode. And the last mode is an automatically color changing mode where it will cycle through the colors. So as you see at the end here, it does automatically turn off. So there is an auto sleep to it. And this helps make sure that the battery stays nice and charged. One thing I do want to mention is that you can control the speed of the mouse cursor on the touchpad. And you can do this by pressing down on the function button and hitting the spacebar. And you get three speeds, slow, medium, and fast. Generally speaking, the fast mode feels the most normal and is probably the best setting. As you saw in the previous clips, you'll notice that you'll need to use the function key to access special settings and use keyboard shortcuts. I know a lot of times you just want to throw away the manual, but in this case, you'll want to keep it or at least take a picture so that you know different key functions. Using this product on a PC or a tablet is pretty straightforward, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate its usage on a PlayStation 4. Here I've already connected it to the PlayStation 4, and using the circular pad up top, you can use the arrow keys to cycle through the menu. And as you can see, it's nice and responsive with no lag. By pushing enter, you can go into the different apps. Here is the little off screen, but you can see that it still works. And pushing escape will take you back to the home screen. Here I'm just going to go ahead and use the message app here to demonstrate a little bit of the typing. 
I'm just gonna type in on the bar here and here I'll go ahead and type something here and I have a camera in my face so it is a little harder to type but as you can see it's nice and quick and I have no trouble at all So as you saw in the video, this is a solid device. If you need a physical keyboard and mouse to control your home theater PC, or maybe your tablet, or even your gaming console, this is a handy little item to have and it works wonderfully. If you're interested in this item, I'll leave a link in the description below to where I bought it on Amazon. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leave a like or comment below. For more videos on random tech, gadgets, and hobbies, be sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button.